Hey everyone, welcome back to Coinos. Today I'll show you British two new pens minted in 1980. Bronze coin with mintage of more than 408 million. Two piece struck in 1980 have now been circulating for 42 years. On a verse, as always, Queen Elizabeth II was embedded circle and surrounded by letterings in Latin. Here we have her second portrait. Coin is in extremely fine condition. We see insignificant amount of abrasions here and there. Device elements are sharp, yet we see slight post-mint softness on the higher points. Surfaces display strong dark patination around the neck area and around the right legends. When we flip it over, we see trace of mint luster, device elements and letterings, including incused letterings of Ichtien, meaning I surf, are well struck. On the center of right feather, we see round-shaped dark gray spot. Overall coin has a nice appealing. As these coins are still in circulation, they are worth less than $1, even at higher mint state. According to NGC price guide, that mint state 65, they are worth over 50 cents. This is the very first issue of British New Pennies. Really quick about these physical features. Metal composition is bronze, that's alloy mostly containing copper and tin. Weight is 3.5 grams, diameter 20.3 millimeters. The one penny coin is currently the lowest circulating denomination of British pound sterling after the half penny was demonetized in 1984. New pennies issued in 1971 have now been circulating for more than 50 years. To avoid confusion between the old and new coinage, all three coins initially had the word new incorporated into reverse design. This was later removed. Oversight features a crowned and draped young bust of Queen Elizabeth II facing right, so-called second portrait. On the reverse, within a beaded circle, a crowned portcullis with chains, an adaptation of badge of King Henry VII. As obviously seen, this new pen is massively tarnished, copper totally turning glossy black around the rims and legends. Also strong patination is observed on the hair part of Elizabeth II. Must have been impaired by direct contact with water or undergone prolonged exposure to high humidity. When oxygen binds with copper, they form a new molecule known as a copper oxide. Copper oxide is brownish or sometimes black in color. Despite all massive piles of tarnish, design elements are sharply struck and surfaces display minimum wear. Few contact marks catch the eye on the throat area. Rims display numerous nicks and dents. Reverse side of a coin also shows heavily tarnished surfaces. We even see significant amount of green oxide layers. Inside cells of portcullis, surface of the fields exhibit some pinkish hues over predominantly gray, light brown surfaces. Softness on higher points is minimal here as well. Now let's find out current value of this coin and I'll learn for what price range these coins are sold online. According to NGC price guide, at mint state 63, these pennies are worth at least 130. At mint state 65, 180. According to recent sales records on eBay, ungraded and mostly circulated 1971 new pennies sell for 1 to 15 dollars, depending on condition of a coin. Hey everyone, now I'm holding 1992 Elizabeth II 20 pence, minted by British Royal Mint, circulated coin in extremely fine condition. The British 20 pence or 20p coin is a unit of currency equaling 21 hundreds of pounds sterling. To help identification and avoid confusion with similar sized coins, the 20p is seven sided and like the 50p is an equilateral curve heptagon. The shape, with its constant rolling diameter, means that it's readily acceptable in vending machines. Its composition is 84% copper and 16% nickel. This particular coin exhibits enhanced device motifs and bold strike. Incused letterings on the neck truncation are free from tarnish and dirt. Here we have the third portrait of British Queen Elizabeth II. On the focal areas we see several tiny ticks. Major distraction is this notch at 12 o'clock and this gouge behind the bust. Reverse side has a splendid appealing with strong traits of mint reflectivity. Device elements are razor sharp, surfaces are free from mentionable contact marks, except several nicks on the outer edge. The mintage of 20p struck in 1992 is more than 31 million. 
therefore pretty common coin worth just face value at circulated grades. But according to NGC price guide, at midday 67 they are worth $2.50, at MS68 $10, at MS69 condition $25. PR69 graded proof specimens are worth over $35, 1956 Elizabeth II 1 shilling. A copper nickel coin which was demonetized in 1990. Weight is 5.66 grams, diameter 23.55 millimeters. Oversight highlights right profile of Queen Elizabeth II, so called first portrait, and legends around in Latin. Riverside exhibits crowned English shield of arms, dividing the date, legend above, and face value below. This one shilling is at very fine condition, although it's circulated and device elements displays light softness on high points, it's pretty well preserved coin. All the hair of Elizabeth II will see slight wear accompanied by several contact marks. Legends are crisp but surrounded by tarnish from the edges. Unpleasant dark grey stocks also can be seen around the beaded circle. Reverse side is almost unabraded, except this slanting mark above 56. Back side of a coin displays very bold strike. I appeal only weakened by massive tarnished stocks around the beaded circle and inside coat of arms. Also strong concentration of seaweed hues is evident at the edge of letter E and H of face value. According to NGC price guide at mean state 60 these coins are worth at least $8 at mean state 63 they are valued at $12 minimum. This is Canadian 5 cent from 1962. Circulated coin at very fine condition. Content of a coin is a nickel. Weight is 4.54 grams. Diameter 21.2 millimeters. Oversight features right portrait of Elizabeth II. Most probably at her late 20s wearing wreaths and legend around in Latin. Coin has 12 sided shape. Edge is plain, thickness is 1.70 mm. Reverse side depicts the beaver as a central device, letter in Canada, as a date below, face value above, flanked on both sides by maple leaf. Oversight show heavily abraded surfaces throughout. The most evident Marks are crisscrossing on Elizabeth's bust, which prevents its five cents from extremely fine grade. Trace of mint luster only preserved on outskirts of the legends. Reverse side displays lesser braided surfaces and very sharp design elements. Lower lettering, though, are not that sharply struck. Some green stain are seen around the lettering of face value and also around CDA of Canada. At 3 o'clock we observe seen but long contact mark. On eBay ungraded and mostly circulated but also uncirculated, 1962 5 cents can be fetched for 1 to 8 dollars depending on condition and presence or absence of mint error. Moving on to other 5 cents. From 1979, metal composition is nickel, weight is 4.54 grams as well. Here in obverse we have second portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, although it's less abraded as compared to previous one, yet it has several distracting contact marks and patination. Strike is sharp which is evident from hairs and motifs of tyra. Around the lips we see several notches with slanting scratch extending until the letter I. Very much looks like a die crack. Near the left legend, some crimson russet hues graces the surfaces between beaded circle and the rims. While near the portrait to the right, some whitish stains catch the eye. 
Looks like a residue of some kind. Riverside has a sharply detailed device elements which display no wear. The things are abraded but yet show no wear as well. This side of a coin is free from noteworthy contact marks and spotting, except this bag mark near the letter A. On eBay, ungraded 5 cents from, from that year. Sell for 1 to 4 dollars. That's all for now. If you liked the video, you can make us happy by hitting the like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not the member of Coiners family yet. Have a good one.